um, that was Kakashi, and this is Theo's pet, so let me uh, grab him and let's talk about him, shall we? Is Kakashi. Now Kakashi is a male corn snake. Um, at least I was told it was a male. I've not uh, really checked yet. I was also told he's about four years old which means that this should be as big as he is going to get. Um, he was uh, a rescue. I went and got him at about 4.37 a.m. Um, I had that whole experience on video uh, because I wasn't comfortable showing up in a parking lot to meet a stranger off Craigslist at 4.30 a.m. Uh, not being videotaped, but that all got messed up uh, while I was doing some paranormal, paranormal hunting with the same camera and SD card, but that's another story. So anyway, he, um, I have a Craigslist ad talking about how we rehabilitate and then rehome, find good homes for reptiles. Um, this guy had some stuck eye shed. When I say some, I mean about his eyeball was about three times the regular size uh, with stuck eye caps. Um, I've gotten two or three layers off through baths and soaks, and there's still some on there. Though it is absolutely a lot better. He uh, was not handled. Um, this man, I think, was afraid to handle his reptiles. Um, the picture I got of him, he was kept in pretty much a Tupperware box, literally the size of a shoe box. I mean, I wear a 14 and a half and no lie, my work boots, the box they came in were bigger than the tub this guy was in. Um, but we've got him in a really large uh, tub down there now. Um, I handled him twice a day. He is very friendly, very confident. Um, I'm not sure if he is a normal or a morph. If anybody knows, please let me know down below. That would be great. Actually, uh, except for the fire morph, Azula, I'm not sure what morph, if any, most of my corns are. That includes Manda from the My First Snake video. So if anybody has any information on that, that would be awesome. Because uh, when I look it up online, on like Morph Mart or whatever, with all of these uh, snakes that are het things, that's just the same... It, it'll say this hit this whatever but you'll see the same color pattern under like four different listings and so i'm not 100 percent sure and i don't want to give any wrong information um that i don't know to correct you know so but for not having been handled he's actually really really cool um very friendly i handle him twice a day now the other thing is he was love fed um Apparently he was live and frozen thawed fed and live fed for videos. Now I'm going to see if I can maneuver him over where you can see it. Uh, I don't live feed my animals. I don't believe you should live feed your snakes. Um, well, let me rephrase that. I live feed my frogs. I live feed insects, but not rodents. Um, there is a giant crater here. On his side however he has looped himself through my camera mount so i'm gonna have to try to coax him come on that's how i can go backwards too just to pick one direction thank you okay Shh. now he's on the camera hey now hey now come on he's not <laughs> he's just squirrely and grabbing everything he's not trying to bite me or nothing as you can see he's actually super super friendly um let's see if we can find where that gigantic bite mark is aha uh -huh. so the issue with live feeding is when you try to eat something you know it does not want to be ate and most things that uh 
exist in the world have teeth. And so what happens is you go to eat a rat and that rat just does not want to be ate and it just uh, bites you back. And that's what this giant crater there and on the other side are where the teeth from this rat just as he was trying to eat it. So he tried to eat it and it tried to eat it back or tried to escape and not die because that's how nature works. So he's actually covered in a lot of these scars. Just unfortunately with his color, I don't, I can't tell how well that picked up on camera. Um, so, but he's almost done being rehabilitated. I want to get the last of that eye cap dealt with um, and the swelling's almost all gone now well um and maybe a few more a week or so more of socialization um just to make sure that wherever he goes he's as cool and confident and handleable as he is here um and then hopefully we can find a new home for this guy um or not maybe i'll keep him i I don't know we'll figure that we'll figure that out because i don't have any adult corn snakes and uh he's he's just an awesome 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 guy so what's up son yeah Oh, as you can see, he's all over the place. Um, another thing from my understanding about colubrids are that they're super inquisitive. And so this is uh, pretty normal for him to just be kind of sniffing, trying to get into everything. Um, but I mean, he's not scared trying to run away from me. He's still anchored to me. He's holding me. I'm not holding him, you see. Um, but he's just chilling, sniffing everything, man. He just wants to know what's happening what's going on everywhere and uh hug me for warmth you know because i give off a lot of body heat so but all right everybody sign off kakashi you ready for that b-roll we always talk about <laughs>